So I was asking myself a question just the other day. With this six and a half inch circular saw, can I use a five inch blade on there? Did a little searching around online, didn't really find anything definitive. Um, you might be thinking, why would you want to do that? Well, um, I needed to cut some hardy plank siding for the side of my house. Um, and in the past, I had to cut a couple pieces and I had an old six and a half inch blade from this saw. So I just used that. Um, does a regular wood cutting saw work on hardy plank? Yes, it does. It's not super effective, but it gets the job done. You can make a clean cut. So I was just kind of keeping this around because I only occasionally cut hardy plank. Um, and this blade has been getting the job done, but I had a project where I needed to cut about uh, 20, 30 pieces. And I thought, should I get a specialized blade for that? Um, I looked online, they have these Diablo blades. Um, the six and a half inch one was $40 and the five inch one was 20. Um, since I was getting a blade that I will maybe only use once a year, um, I was thinking, can I use that five inch one on my six and a half inch saw? Well, I went ahead and purchased the five inch one and used it. And I'm really glad I did because the blades designed for the hardy plank work much smoother than just a regular old wood blade that you're uh, using for hardy plank. Um, it's much easier if you're trying to get a really clean cut or, or trim something up. Um, not necessarily recommending against using just a regular wood blade if you have an old one laying around and you only need to make one or two cuts. But um, if you want to have a regular uh, blade dedicated to cutting hardy plank, these Diablo blades are, are really nice. And after cutting, I think I probably cut about 20 pieces, maybe more. Um, the blade is still cutting like new. Um, another thing is with this five inch one that I got, it has six teeth on it versus the six and a half inch that would have fit this saw. Um, that only has four teeth. So the, the thing about this, this is, is that um, you're gonna lose some clearance, but I can show you here. The actual clearance probably, let's see. So you're probably gonna get about one and three quarter inches of clearance, which is plenty for most of cutting for hardy plank. So obviously the siding pieces, they're about a quarter inch thick. So this blade is just fine for that. Um, and then if you have some trim pieces that's made out of hardy plank, I suppose those are about three quarter inches. So this clearance should be more than enough for anything you need. Um, I'm not necessarily saying never buy the six and a half inch, only run a, a five inch on the six and a half inch saw. But if you're like me, where you really don't cut a lot of hardy plank and you wanna save yourself $20, I can confirm that you can put the five inch blade on your six and a half inch circular saw. It cuts really nice. Um, and then you can have a dedicated blade. So if you are curious, if you can use that, that smaller size blade on a saw, if you just have, want to have a dedicated blade, uh, you surely can. So hopefully this is helpful for someone else out there that uh, has the same question. Thanks.